What's going on guys, Simply Pops here and welcome back to the Jailbreak Tweaks of the Week. This is episode number 6 or week 6. You guys seem to love these tweak videos and I'm here to give you guys some more. And before I even get started with the video, we're slowly but surely approaching to 20,000 subscribers. So as you guys can see, just a couple of, you know, a couple of more subscribers and we're there. You guys can see my wallpaper. This is just for the um, iPhone XS Plus or the iPhone XS Plus. So yeah, that's the wallpaper featured on today's video. So I throw that link in the description. I know I've been slacking with the wallpapers, but yeah, I'm gonna have this one on time this time. And the theme I'm rocking out, this is Lotus. So um, Lotus is a free theme. And it's almost hard to believe that Apple leaked their new iPhones, man, like way be before the release. These are the new iPhones. We just got to play a waiting game. But without further ado, let's get right into the tweaks. This first tweak is called Counting Notes. So what this tweak does, is just shows the characters. All right, so currently this note has 97 characters or 97 letters. So, oh, this thing almost fell down. I'm going to keep that in there. I'm going to leave. I'm going to keep that in there. So, so if I type in something, it's going to keep on adding. So now it's 100 characters. This thing almost fell back. That's crazy. Spooky stuff going on here. Now, this next tweak is called Color Flow 4. And I've been waiting for this tweak. This is one of my favorite jailbreak tweaks of all time. It's definitely up there. And basically, it just takes the album art cover and it just adapts to the entire um, music player. So as you guys can see, I'm skimming through the tracks here. You guys can see the beautiful colors changing and everything is just adapting to it really really beautiful really really sleek it just almost makes you want to listen to music and it also changes the lock screen so it's nice and big and you have the colors adapting to it this is a well-made tweak and really for the most part it'll work for any kind of music or audio that's playing um it don't have to necessarily be apple music so if you could be able to see this it's going to adapt to the um artwork and since we're on the lock screen, this is a tweet called No More Disabled. If I enter in my password multiple times, it's not going to lock me out. So I can do this forever, and I'm just not going to get locked out. So No More Disable is going to disable the disable password. Now this next tweak is called Stack 11. Now all it is, it brings the iOS 12 group notifications into iOS 11. So now you guys can see I have three messages. So if I scan my face... You guys can see it brings the nice little animation or the nice little, uh, you know, what you call this, and it brings it to iOS 11. So, of course, if you have Twitter notifications too as well, it will be right underneath your messages. So, it groups the notifications, make it nice and neat, and if you want to tap and view those notifications, you could just tap on it, and it just brings them all down. Of course, you have these buttons here on the top here, so you can clear them all. You can collapse them back, and I'm just going to clear all just to show you guys it works. Now this next tweak is called unplug. So now normally you're plugging your device, it'll make a noise to indicate it. I, I was talking, so let me let me do that again. You hear that? That's the basic noise. But when you unplug it, it'll make another noise. So this is a tweak called unplug. A bunch of settings to configure here, but I'm just gonna show you guys all the sounds here. So just a bunch of stock iOS sounds to choose from. I kind of like the NFC sound. If you want and of course it works for wireless charging too and yeah that's unplugged all right so now this next tweak we're going back into the notes application and this tweak is called notes confirmed to delete so let's say you accidentally delete a note and this happens to me sometimes here and there um, I delete a note by accident and then typical iOS it'll just automatically delete now with this tweak notes confirmed to delete uh, give you a pop-up hold up are you sure you want to delete this uh, note and you just tap on delete and it'll delete It'll move to your um, recently deleted folder, of course. Now, this next tweak is fairly handy if you use your flashlight a lot. Now, all it is, this is called mute flash, by the way. If you uh, mute your device, it'll turn on the flash. But if you put it down, it'll turn off the flash. So very, very handy instead of you waking up your device, then finding that button, which I did. I hide my buttons here. Now, of course, if you do that every time, it'll enable your ringer. But then when you're done with your flash, you just flip it back down. Simple. If you have an iPhone 10, this is going to be a good tweak to have. This is called Move Up Cydia. Now, as you guys can see on the bottom there, you guys can see it's just basically going to move up the Cydia application. So you guys can see the home bar is not overlapping Cydia. And obviously, you got to make sure you have no more small apps installed. And it's just going to make it more native to the iPhone 10. Now, I added this tweak to the list, but this tweak right here, it doesn't really matches with my setup. So as you guys can see, 
this little globe or whatever this thing is <laughs> or a moon it, it kind of just fits well without a dock um, but to you guys it may be handy to you and then this is called dock color and all it is is just change the color of your dock so if you want a red dock you can do that purple dock you can do that etc etc just a, a whole wheel of color the spectrum color now this tweak right here is called show touch and basically it just shows your touch so um, right now I just have it when I'm screen recording so if you're doing like a screen recording you basically want to see where you're tapping instead of just seeing it there so right now is enable you guys can see that red dot um, I'm pretty sure you guys can see that so I can swipe home and if I send somebody something they're gonna see those red dots on the screen now so very, very handy tweak just to if you showing somebody something you can see exactly where you're tapping you can even have it always on um, but I'm not gonna do that then and you can even change the um, the dot color so instead of red you can make it yellow purple whatever you like now this next dope tweak is called fast cam. Now if you have a 3D touch enabled device, you can 3D touch the uh, the camera application. It's just going to activate your camera altogether. So let's say I want to take a picture of the iPhones here. And it's good if you want to sneak too. I don't know because it's not going to take up the whole entire screen. You use two fingers to snap the picture. And then it's on your camera roll. So I'm snapping these pictures while, it's on, while you're on your home screen pretty much. So if I can go into my photos, you guys can see I took those pictures like that and it came out pretty crisp too came out pretty clean now this next tweak is called dnd flash or do not disturb flash so every time you enable your do not disturb it's going to flash your um it's going to enable your flash just for a little bit just to let you know that you enable do not disturb if i turn it off it's not going to do anything but this will show you guys again just letting you know that you enable do not disturb no more app bar and it gets rid of the um the app bar on the bottom there so just to show you guys a before this is the app bar on the bottom you guys can see just a bunch of colorful stuff here and just look a little bit more simpler just to have it like this and if you want to access the apps and all of that you could do that by tapping on the app store icon a before after now this one here is called status do not disturb or status dnd &D. and as you guys can see if you look at my iphone 10 notch the ear here so you guys can see the moon there and the clock i wish apple can do something like this because right now stock ios you don't know if do not disturb is enabled or not and if you want you can show the moon you can hide the moon um i kind of like having the moon there and it just give you that purple bar just to show you guys an indication that do not disturb is enabled cool cc is going to make your control center look a little bit more cooler as you guys can see, a lot of more swag to it. So you guys can see it kept the outline. Um, it got rid of the background. It could be a little glitchy as you guys can see. But um, hey, it just looks cool. My only thing is it can be a little bit hard to see at times. Because uh, the outline is white and the background is white sometimes, most of the time. So that's the only thing that I wish we can have like a dark mode of the cool CC. CC audio balance is going to allow you to change the uh, left side and the right side of the music so you guys can see if you want more sound to the right side you could do that and it's gonna alright so let me just if you have headphones this is really better to do it so it's gonna only play it on the right side and you can have it on the left you can have a default I don't want to get hit with copyright stream cam is a very very handy tweak it's a lot of possibilities with this one uh, so if I enable it it's gonna activate my front facing camera as you guys can see you're seeing yourself right now and let's say you're just reacting to a meme or a tweet you can use the screen recorder option and now it's gonna record the face cam right the front facing camera and it's gonna record the screen at the same time so possibilities are endless and you can even go on YouTube um, so let's go to the YouTube there you can react to your favorite youtubers uh, video and you have the stream cam so you have a you know picture in picture right here and then you have a video now your phone is probably going to feel a little bit hotter than normal um, because it's using the front facing and playing the video at the same time but hey you're making a video on youtube very very easy with this tweak so stream cam is going to allow you to do that very very awesome tweak i must say now this one here is called evanesco 11 and it's going to fade out your home screen when inactive so you guys can see so I can see my wallpaper a little bit more better even though it's completely black which by the way this wallpaper is perfect if you have an iPhone 10 because it will save battery life the less colors the more battery life you're gonna save the darker the better your battery life will be now we have some settings here so you can fade the dock background fade the status bar you know a bunch of stuff and you can even set the seconds and the fade alpha there we go there we go and that's gonna help save battery life 
And last but not least, this one is called U Respring, and it's gonna allow you to set any GIF you like. So you can download any GIF from the internet. Um, I found this one. Um, it's probably not the best one. And here are some settings you guys can configure. You can change the background color. So sometimes not all GIF is gonna take up the entire screen, so you can just set the background color there. You can change the size. And once you configure everything, you can respring and it's going to automatically apply. If you can't find any GIFs or anything like that, you can tap on this, find GIFs to use. And it's going to have a Pinterest here. They have some troubleshooting things here too. So let's respring. And I'm going to show you guys this. So it looks pretty cool. It looked like the phone is glitching. It looked like there's something wrong with it. But that's just the GIF of it. And as you guys can see, that's basically it. You respring is going to allow you to change the respring. Um, instead of just seeing that Apple logo, be kind of unique so guys that pretty much concludes this week's tweaks of the week me personally my favorite tweak will always be color flow 4 i mean just seeing the colors i mean look at that so guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on if you guys want to see more and i really do appreciate it comment down below what is your favorite tweak or if you have any problems let me know down in the comments down below make sure you guys follow me on twitter at simply pops and follow me on instagram all that fun stuff and yeah catch you guys on the next video later